right, so it's been one hell of a month for fans. I mean, you got the whole Travis Scott thing, you got your monthly BTS drama, and now we're showing our usual dose of Playboy Cardi fan base proving how immature they are. So Cardi's been doing his King Vamp tour all through November, and while the event itself might seem exciting for your average Playboy Cardi fan, it's the complete opposite for the opening performer Rico Nasty, who has shown her distaste with the tour on Twitter and in live performance after being booed and stuff thrown at her by a bunch of lame ass teenagers. And this is really sad to see for the young artist, with her really proving herself out here in the music industry only to be bashed by edgy white kids with absolutely no sense of reality or common decency. So as stated before, Rico Nasty has not really been feeling this King Vamp tour ever since she was brought along. I mean, the constant booing and audio issues, alongside Cardi constantly being late to every show, only fuels fire to Rico's emotions. Now you're probably wondering, has Cardi said anything about this? Where's Cardi? And to that, I say if you really think that the same dude who dodged his child being born to play video games with Lil Uzi was gonna give a rat's ass about Rico Nasty, you are sadly mistaken. To be honest, I'm surprised she hasn't just completely dropped out of the tour as a whole. True, this is a big career move working with such an influential artist like Cardi, but at the same time, if these shows are messing with your mental to the point that you're feeling like this, I think it's better for everyone that you just take the time off to focus more on yourself. As a person who hasn't been in the right headspace for most of my life, I do try to take the small amounts of peace that I have and use that time to figure out my next move and if what I'm doing right now is what I want to do. But at the same time, I'm only a college kid from a small town while she is a big time rapper with a huge bag on the line, so I guess it's hard to compare myself to her. But as for the fans, I feel this is definitely some underlying misogyny within this harassment at these shows. I mean, look at who makes up a majority of these shows. 16 year old corny ass suburban kids who'd suck the skin off Cardi's dick if it meant defending him in the most minuscule of arguments. Hey, yeah. And with the turn of the media today, whether it be in social media or music or anything else of the sort, it's very easy for people around that age to fall for obvious misogynistic bait and try to apply it to their day to day lives. But at the same time, it doesn't make it excusable at all. The booing, the throwing objects at her, which can be counted as actual assault by the way, it's just such a distasteful behavior from anyone regardless of how old said person is. She's only trying to achieve her dreams with being on tour being one of them and the last thing she needs to be constantly heckled at by a bunch of goddamn kids. As for Cardi, I am not surprised he hasn't said anything this entire time, nor do I think he even gives an ounce of a fuck what goes on before he gets there. His fan base has reached astronomical levels since Whole Lotta Red, and as long as he's carrying that narcissistic, don't care, rager attitude everywhere, he's going to do, or in this case, not do, whatever he wants. And it's not that I'm excusing him because of his character, but instead partially blaming him because he lacks the ability to protect the people that he works with. But overall, this is a sad thing to see go down for Rico Nasty. And while there are a lot of people who wanted to strive, me included, there are obviously and will always be people who only want to cause problems and make things worse for her and other female artists. So to the annoying Cardi fanbase, y'all need to grow up or something. Like, what do they say? Go outside and touch grass? And to Cardi himself, you need to get over yourself and stop all this cryptic bullshit and just let people know to stop messing with your collaborators. But as stated before, it's a shot in the dark if he actually gives a shit. But on that note, I'm not gonna say too much, but feel free to like and subscribe and follow the artist for more illustrations. I'll see you on Friday and please leave Rico alone.